In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to create uh, an assignment enabling uh, Turnitin at the same time. Uh, I'm at um, the home page of a sample course right now. Um, to create an assignment, I go to Modules. And then I probably would like to create a module, um, which is like a folder to contain all my assignments and other materials in the course. So let me create a sample one. Call it module two. And within this module, I'm cre I'm going to create a paper, and and I'm going to use turn it in. Um, to do that, I click on this plus button. And this will allow me to choose an assignment to create. See, there are some other things that I can create, but I'm going to create an assignment right now. I'm going to select new assignment. I will call it paper three, for instance. Add this item. Right now it's grayed out because it's not published yet. Uh, I need to do some editing first. Click on this paper. Uh, then I'm going to select Edit. I can add some instructions if I want to. And I'm going to assign 100 points for this. For the group, I put it under Assignment. That's fine. Display the grade as the points. Here, um, instead of no submission, I want people to submit online. Um, for Turning in to be enabled, I would need to select File Uploads. And then I'm going to restrict the upload file types so that students do not submit some papers to me in a format that my computer cannot read. I'm going to select Doc, Doc, Text, PDF. So these are three um, file types I'm going to accept. And here, make sure you choose Enable. Turn it, turn it in submissions. You can uh, click on advanced turn it in settings if you want. Uh, for instance, I uh, do not want to uh, student to see this immediately after the due dates. They will be able to see it. So these are the thing that I can set. I can uh, choose this one small matches if uh, it's less than ten words. I'm not going to uh, take that into consideration. And I'm going to update the settings. And I'm going to set the due date to be, for instance, um, April um, the 30th. Now I'm going to update this assignment. Still, soon we'll not be able to um, submit this to this paper because it's not published yet. I need to click on this publish for this to be um, seen. By students. Now let's switch to uh, the test student view to see whether we can submit an uh, assignment right now. To do that, click on settings and then click on student view. So I'm going to go to modules. Um, well, I can st see this uh, assignment. Do you know why? Uh, because I haven't published module 2 yet. So I need to publish module 2. So let me go back to settings and go to student view right now. I should be able to see this additional paper right now. See, I can see module 2 right now because I have published it. So I'm going to go to paper 3. I'm going to submit an assignment to this file, um, sample assignment. I have been reusing this sample file again and again, so it probably will show this to be 100% plagiarized. Uh, so I'm going to submit this uh, assignment yet. Uh, see, if I do not check uh, this assign assignment submission is my own original work, I will not be able to um, submit it. This actually gives students a reminder that Turnitin is enabled for this. So now I check this, I can submit this assignment. See, now it shows that uh, the submission has been accepted. Now I'm going to leave student view. 
Okay, now I'm seeing this um, course as an instructor. Um, I can see paper three right now, where I might have a submission from a test student. To see the results, click on paper three, and then you go to a speed grader. Um, this is another student who hasn't submitted anything, so I'm going to go to the test student who has a uh, submission. You will see there is a 100% match here. However, when you um, see this page immediately after somebody has submitted, um, you might need to know that uh, it may take Turnitin a while to process um, checking this paper. During that process, what you may see is something like this. I'm going to uh, find it from my computer. I have a screenshot of that. What you may see is something like this. Uh, there's a, going to be a clock here. When you click on this clock, it says this file is still being processed by turning in. Please check back later to see the score. Um, that's what you, you will see. So I'm getting rid of that right now. I have waited a while uh, to check back. So. Uh, now I see the result. It's a 100% match. So I click on this 100% match. If it is the first time for you to use this, Turnitin may ask you to agree to their terms and conditions. Uh, so I, I have been skipped that process because I have done that in the past. So right now you see there is already negative report um, for this paper. So there is another paper submitted to uh, Evelyn Christian that has a uh, 100% match with this paper. Basically, that's the same thing that I submitted twice to different places. Um, but you will not be able to use grade mark and peel mark here. Uh, to use that, you will need to go to um, the Canvas um, assignment page. So I'm going to get out of this place so I know that there is a plagiarism for this paper. Now I can check, I can comment, or uh, I can comment this paper. I can draw on it and do whatever I need to do. Um, to grade this paper. Uh, as I see 100% match, I'm going to give this student 0 out of 100, and I can add a comment. This and I can submit this comment. You will see student will see this uh, comment from me as well as a grade. Um, so that's how you grade this paper. It is as if you're grading uh, any other canvas uh, assignment, except there is a, a plagiarism detection here. I hope this helps. Um, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.